<laughs> the defund police movement lost an audience because of of that um, that slogan. I guess is what what he's calling it. Which which I don't look at it as a slogan. It's, it's actually it's an actual real political goal. Brandon Johnson would raise many other taxes, including a first-ever Chicago income tax on those making $100,000 a year, a new $98 million jet fuel tax on airlines, what he calls a mansion tax on home sales, a $100 million tax on banks and securities trading, a lot of which would certainly leave town, another $30 million tax added to Chicago's already highest in the nation hotel tax, and a $40 million surcharge on Metro commuter rail tickets. I think that sounds wonderful. <laughs> At the county board, Johnson sponsored a resolution to decrease funding of police. Well, of course he did. My budget also takes a closer look into the budget that continues to get bigger and bigger. And that's the police budget. Police officers are showing up to 911 calls, responding to domestic challenges that, quite frankly, should have a mental health support um, person there that, that leads that interaction. I got a bad feeling about this. We have breaking news. NBC News projects Brandon Johnson will be Chicago's next mayor. Brandon Johnson, who is a former public school teacher in Chicago, currently Cook County Board Commissioner. He's a former teachers union organizer. He was endorsed by Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Bernie Sanders and the Chicago Teachers Union. Looks fine to me. <laughs> and when folks vote, they order what they want. And in this case, they got what they asked for.